I haven't done anything on the internet all day. Like the only thing I've had, I've been on Google Sheets for maybe three hours. That's all I've done on the internet. And were you waiting I, for for now? Pretty much. Well, I mean, I've been I, oh. I went into town. I did some stuff in town, and uh, I've been doing this programming thing for the trailer park. And uh, so, like, I'm I really haven't had much going on. And uh, so, after just three out, maybe three, maybe four hours of that, and I'm not even on Discord on anything. They, I'm on I'm on my phone on Discord whenever I'm whenever I'm just hanging out. And because right. I just, I sort of like an earpiece and. So I look like I'm in the CIA, but, um, hmm. but yeah, just a couple hours like that over three gigs of internet used. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Why not? But anyway, welcome to the IS3 podcast. I am Scribble. I'm here with intent and I'm here with Charlie. Charlie is the owner of the trailer park, wasteland armor three server. If you guys want to go check that out. Just go into your search options um, or your filter, I believe it is, and just type in Trailer Park. There's only one server. It's a it's a Wasteland server. They have anything and everything that's not on a roleplay server. They have big big airplane guns and uh, Charlie. You wanted to say some of the some of the big stuff? Tanks, huge tanks. Uh, uh, we have Blackfish, Blackfoots, Wipeouts, uh, artillery vehicles like the Sandstorm, Scorpion, uh, just a bunch of other other vehicles like that yeah so be sure to go check out the trailer park um this podcast is actually going to be a pretty juicy podcast uh it's gonna we're, we're gonna be talking about olympus again uh pretty much uh, uh where it stands is that olympus has fallen um it's been a few days we we're kind of late on getting this podcast up all of us had different time schedules but before we get into this podcast we're gonna get a word from our sponsor from Good Life Advanced CBD Oil. CBD hemp oil has become an amazing non-pharmaceutical oil that seems to be helping tens of thousands of people like you and I overcome a lot of ailments, pain, anxiety, and even been reported to cure some types of cancer. Well, when I heard that, I decided not to use CBD because it sounded ridiculous. Is CBD ridiculous? I don't think so. Talk to your friends, your coworkers, and neighbors. I decided to try CBD about six months ago. This stuff really seems to be doing miracles. Now, I'm not a doctor, a scientist, or anything like that, but I am a person like you who ends up with a lot of pain and stress just from running around all day. And if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. The stress alone will drive you crazy. For me, CBD, a com- a CBD from a company called Good Life Advanced has been a miracle worker. Not only has it calmed my stress and anxiety, but I've had this pain in my leg for years. And this is going to sound ridiculous, but the pain is virtually gone. And it's so good to stop taking ibuprofen, aspirin, and other drugs. Who needs that stuff? I don't, and I'm sure you don't either. Will Good Life Advanced CBD Oil help you? All you, all you can do is try it. What do you have to lose? Except possibly some pain, anxiety, stress. Hey, I'm more than happy to get rid of that any day of the week. And I'm sure you are too. There's a lot of CBD products available everywhere, but a lot of these are mixed with fillers and stuff you don't want. Not only does Good Life Advance have the highest quality CBD available, but they also guarantee it. That's how that's how good this stuff is. And to make something good even better, they have a 25% coupon available online. So now you can try CBD for yourself and get it at a lower price. So again, the only thing you have to lose is possibly getting rid of your aches and pains, stress, and anxiety. Give Good Life Advance a try. You'll be glad you did at GLACBD.com and use the promotional code SCRIBBLE to get an additional 15% off your total for a total of 40% off your purchase. Use the promo code SCRIBBLE at GLACBD.com to get 40% off your purchase of any CBD products. I don't know how much of this is actually fact, but it did come from an admin. An admin told me all this information. So it's, I guess it's, it's as I mean, worthy, it's as worthy as you can trust an admin, I guess. I'd say that's, I'd say that's pretty, pretty, pretty reasonable. Yeah. Pretty, um, anyway, can't think of the word. <laughs> all right. So here's, here's, here's what they told me. Um, they they came into a channel and they said, "Hey, do you want some juicy stuff?" I'm like, "Sure, all free content. Why not?" 
And uh, <laughs> so they said, I can use any information during what we said was said. Uh, as long as I don't record our conversation, which is fine. I didn't. Um, and I don't put their name out there. So that's how that okay. is. So I have I took notes throughout our whole conversation and I then I formed them into pretty much this this podcast of what we're gonna be talking about. But anyway, right, this right. this admin told me he said uh so pretty much whenever rapid whenever rapid actually came into admin he went on a three month LOA because he had family problems in, in quotes. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so he had no admin experience cause he, the second he went on, I uh, got admin. He just, he left for months. Yeah. Um, and then miraculously, as soon as the owner changed over to Ryan, one of his friends became the owner, um, all his family problems suddenly went away and started grinding out tickets for like a week and to make it look like he's doing something. Uh, and, so that so he could get promoted because he knew that there was a senior spot open, senior uh, senior admin spot open. So he previously had zero zero admin knowledge at all because he never right. because he went on the LOA. Um, mm -hmm. And then whenever so he would grind tickets, but whenever he would do tickets, he wouldn't even do them correctly. Uh, if it was under five minutes, he would just instantly deny it. And if it was mm -hmm. over five minutes, he would just come to player without even opening the video most of the time. Right. And which is impossible because you kind of have to see the video to see what happens. So yeah, to to give a yeah to give you a response on whether or not exactly you think they need compensation. I mean. Exactly. But he wouldn't even do that. You give him a couple hundred grand, and and start, then, let's start here. What? Do you think this was planned? Do you, do you think? think this was what do you mean? i mean do you really think i mean how old is i mean i'm not trying to get personal but uh is he a younger guy yeah yeah he is do you think they do you think ryan was like hey i'm gonna get the i'm gonna get the server you know you can come back you know if you're if everything's settled down and i'll oh, promote I, you I guarantee, to guarantee, guarantee it probably I mean, they're all like OG friend groups, so it's possible. I would do it if that was I mean, the case. No proof, but probably. Oh yeah, somehow everyone knows I tried to buy the server. It's weird. <laughs> I was playing medic log. I had like five dudes come out. Oh hey, are you buying the server yet? The fuck? What do you mean? <laughs> wow. Uh, so hey, <clears throat> I forgot to read this part. Did but, you? But did I make an offer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but during his LOA, as soon as he became admin, he didn't have enough time to do his admin stuff because he was because of family problems. So he had plenty of time to log over 500 hours on BDO, scam Amazon. What is BDO? I have no idea. I want to talk on these things. Uh, scam Amazon and create a catfishing ring. What? So he, had, so he had plenty of time to do all that on his LOA. See, I wish I had more info. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know how he scammed you, Amazon. You have how, to make what do you do? Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, of so, course. All right. Well, the way he would do it is that he would um, he would order something on Amazon, uh -huh. and they, whenever the package would arrive, he would do a, a chargeback or a claim on it, saying he never got the package. Right. Uh, and then, and so they give him his money back, no questions asked. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, Why does BDO, Amazon have something to... Uh, BDO is Black Desert Online. The Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I know that. The massive multiplayer role-play game. Uh-huh. So I answered your question on that. You, but, uh, yeah, so... You know, you know what like gets that. me? <coughs> the fucking catfish ring. The fucking catfish. Okay, so... Here's what I heard about. The <coughs> Here's what I heard about the catfish ring. Uh -huh. So, what he would do is that he was already doing these scams on Amazon. Like he was, it's his like pretty much full time job. That is just to order something from Amazon every single day. It does it from different accounts, but it all goes to the same address. Do you not um, think? Hey, Amazon, hello, big yeah, multi billion dollar corporation, red flag. 
I mean, let's check I mean, this dude when you, out. When you're a company that big and you got one person doing this every day, you know, it's kind of hard to catch. True, guess, true, but, yeah. Um, but so with the catfish ring, what do you do? Um, it was him and Airborne, from what I've heard. They they would find like a group set of photos of some girl, uh, nudes uh-huh. and non nudes, and they would set up these fake profiles, catfishing, so to speak, or re- re- literally what catfishing is. And right, yeah. they would, whenever they'd get in touch with these guys, and um, they would have the guys send them Amazon cards or money and, and stuff like that in exchange for these nudes that they found on the internet of, of the same girl. And, and it was just ran, random girls, you know, like you'd look up nude girl gallery or something like that and comes up with all the nude photos of all the same girl. And uh, so they would do that. And, um, they would have these guys send them money in Amazon cards, and then as soon as they'd get what they wanted, they'd block them. And so, so they'd scam them out of their own money. And wow. then, they would, then they would they would go from there and then go on Amazon and buy stuff and then do the chargebacks and, and all that kind of stuff. Double, double um, the money. Yeah. I mean, um, from what was said, they, somebody built, I think he built his whole PC off of scamming mm-hmm. Amazon. Wow. This is what I don't know why this is, but I mean, it shouldn't blow my mind, but at the same time, it kind of does. Yeah. But then at the same time, it's like these kids are kind of, I don't know, I don't know if kids or not. At the same time, you're like, wow, you kind of got to be fucked in the head to do, to do this stuff, you know? Yeah. And then uh, there's some other sketchy stuff going on. Uh, this is all the reasons why staff left, um, but there's other sketchy stuff going on. The uh, Mako got senior designer back, or senior dev, se- senior developer, I think. Um, whenever yeah. and Peter blacklisted him, or he removed him for a reason, and that's because why was he removed? Uh, I'm going into that. They he was placing boats around. He placed like seven boats around Olympus after Peter told him not to. And um, and then when there was a server up, when there was an update, he slipped them into the update. So that's how Peter knew that they were there. Because mm. um, he, because I remember by, this. Yep. And he uh, was putting stuff on cap on uh, cartels to make them lag. Yes, uh, he was putting giant submarines. You know the the big submarines they are like the size of the carrier. Yeah, yeah. He was putting he was putting those in key locations that caused people to lag, and then he was also <sighs> putting trash piles underneath Rebel to cause people to lag. So Peter removed them. And then, lo and behold, Ryan becomes owner, and one of his friends gets gets it back. Um, where are we going with this? We have um, oh, a lot of people that were perm banned are now getting unpermed because of Ryan's friends. I saw that. Yeah, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, people that I've seen before that are. I mean, just like the one the, our previous episode where we we're talking, you know, scummy. Scummy yep. people, scummy gangs. It's those, it's those, it's those type of people that he associates with. Yes, and they're coming back into the community, and I, and even some of them. Before all this went down, it happened. Some of the guys that got unpermed that I've seen before were coming after me. You know, I think I, I think they were on Vigi. They're like Vigi or something. Probably. Anyway, they end up they end up Vigiing me, but I but knew who they were. Yeah, so they're getting unpermed, and they don't even have the shitter restrict- restrictions. Yeah. So they have full access again. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also, uh, this this said admin that they saw Rapid close four tickets in four minutes, and two of them were player reports, and those were ten minutes by themselves. So it's pretty much impossible to close a ticket. In in a minute, even. What would you what would you, you say the it? when you gotta watch a five minutes? What would you say the average the average <clears throat> time to do a ticket is? You've um, been staff. It, if you have like the average time, uh, it it really de- depends. But the probably average, maybe about four minutes, maybe four to four to five minutes, because yeah. when when we watch videos on YouTube and stuff, we put it at times two or times four speed um 
so that way oh, we can okay. yeah we don't watch we don't watch the actual whole five minutes at this at the exact or at normal time right, right. We, wa- we watch it between two two x and four x and then because all we're doing all we're doing is looking at the five minute engagement before see if there's any kind of um verbal engagement or text engagement and if we don't see any mm-hmm. of that if we don't see or hear any of that then we ban um if we if we think we hear something, we'll, we'll put it back to normal and listen to it the right way, and all that. And but it could just be somebody talking, even. Um, right. So yeah, about four to five minutes. Um, when, I, when I was back home and I was the staff and I had multiple monitors and everything, I could. Uh, I already had the guy. I already had the person they're reporting their names up. Um, I already had it up on on the archon or in the battle metrics. Mm-hmm. And then I'd watch the video and at two times speed, so I could finish the video in three minutes. <clears throat> and if it was right. legi- if it was legit, then I'd just hit ban. And if it wasn't legit, then um, I wouldn't worry about it. Did he I'd, ban I'd anybody? Um, did, I don't did know. Did he falsely ban? Probably. Um, uh, I'm sure. Oh yeah, he did. Uh, he did actually falsely ban. Um, Stray, Lieutenant Stray. Oh, okay. okay. Which you know that causes a big havoc in the scenery in the APD if if a scenery oh, APD yeah. member gets banned. So, um, he it was something along. He thought he admin got out or something, but when he in the video you can tell he gets out of the car and you can hear the door. You can hear him locking the door. So you can't do that when you're restrained. So right. he banned him. And so, he, of course, he appealed it, and he won. <clears throat> and he's like, he's like, you can hear me lock the door, man. Like, what's, like, why am I banned? And he said, oh, and kicked him out of the channel. What? Didn't say, that's all he says, oh. And then he did not wow. tell him that he was unbanned or anything, but he, but he unbanned him. Wow. So. Um, Do you I think this is it for Olympus? No, I don't. You don't think so? No, not at all. I Olympus will, will probably never die because there's multiple ways of getting around. If they get shut down by um, Bohemia or whatever, whatever's being threatened right now, uh, if they get shut down by them, there's always a way around it. They can still reopen the server without the battle eye. So I can, it'll still be open. Uh, it'll just mm. be full of hackers and stuff, but. Could, um, they, could they open? Uh, could they open it under a different name? No, because it starts running like Battle Eye and all that stuff. They, oh, okay. They, they lose their Bohemian stuff. Right. <coughs> but also, <coughs> oh, fuck. Um. Also, Rapid was selling money as an admin and using Zoom Zoom as a patsy. And there's plenty of information and videos and blogs and stuff of that happening. They, right. Um, they don't. They didn't say who they the person that bought the money didn't say who they bought it from, but they did say they bought money. And so what this person would pay this per, would pay Rapid, and then Rapid would give the money give the money to Zoom, and then Zoom would give the money to the person that bought it. So use them as a patsy. As a oh, okay, okay. Um, and then there's also recordings, which you guys know from the videos uh, mm-hmm. that are being posted. There's recordings of Ryan knowing that one of his staff members was selling money and did not remove him. He's still not removed to this day. He's still a senior staff member, or a se- he's still a senior. Zoom's still a senior, and RapidX is still a senior admin. They're both staff still to this day. Do you think do you think Hottie has a good enough case to submit to Bohemia? Bohemia? I don't know. If to, it's, uh, I don't know if it's how are you doing it or not. But whoever does it, I think they have enough information to submit. Um, but I also think Ryan has enough information that he can counter it. So, you know, everyone has a good argument uh, if they're in trouble. So, yeah, that's that is true. I'm pretty um, sure it is Hottie though. Um, I don't. Back know. in our back in our Discord, uh, 
one of the uh, one of our members actually found in the video that his uh, one of the team speak recordings that was linked in the video uh-huh. that was clipped in actually had Hadi's name uh, highlighted. Which I got nothing against Hottie. Great guy. He was a great admin. He, you know, he, he really mean, did a they, good job. I mean, all those staff that left were good staff. They were just tired of the biasness. Yeah, I, I don't blame them. I mean, I honestly, I can, I really don't blame Hottie for exposing all this. I mean, I re- really don't. Or whoever's behind it. Yeah, I, I have no idea who's behind it. Um, I've heard it was two people. But... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Unless somebody come, unless somebody comes forward and says, "Yeah, it's me," then that's really? the only way I'll know. But I mean, I can't blame them. Yeah, I really can't. Um, so after after all the staff left, there was like nine or ten staff members that left. I think it was like I think it ended up being ten. So pretty much all the staff. There's only there's three senior admins, three admins, and three moderators left. That's all that was left of staff out of like twenty something people. Um, it's crazy. So after all this happened, uh, all the servers and database got wiped, and the website got shut down with a message on it that said, fuck you, Ryan, was fun being staff 07. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it stayed up there forever. And uh, so whenever the, whenever the servers got wiped, they, they, they wiped the data, the servers, the backups, anything that they had associated with on on the login account or in the database and everything. They wiped everything. So the all the servers went down for almost two days. <clears throat> yeah, they were gone for almost two days, and the website is still down. It's been almost a week now. The website is still yeah. down. So um, how how are they... How are they getting... How are they running the servers then? Uh, they're, well, I mean, they're are, up now. Are they using some old... Are they using some old... Like uh, old old backups or what? Uh, yeah. Apparently, Ryan had current backups, <laughs> and so he. Did, but it took him three days, two two and a half days to get them, and he's still working on the website. So, right, right. I don't I don't know if he got the files from somebody else, or if they made new ones, or if he actually had backups. I don't I don't know. But apparently, he had backups, so not a big deal, I guess. Uh, but like I said, the website is still down. Yeah, I just checked it. It's still yeah, it's still down. Uh, um, nobody can, nobody can do any tickets or appeals or anything. But any wow. anything anything external like um, for support team, they, we can still file tickets with people because that's an external program. It's mm-hmm. a, that's just a Google Sheet, so. Or Google Doc. Oh, uh, okay. Call it. I was just about to ask yeah. you that. How do people still report? Uh, well, no, they can't report, but they can. We can. Oh wow! Because yeah, the reporting went through um, the website to the forums. Through the and website. It's, yeah, and it's down, so people can't do that. Um, but support team, they can still answer people's questions and tickets and everything, and we can still fill right. out our tickets because um, because it's, it's just a Google Doc mm-hmm. that we run everything through. Right. Yeah, easy peasy on that. But yeah, that's Are the Emerson coming? Yeah, probably. Uh but yeah, the when it was actually kind of funny because I was I was up most of the night whenever it happened. Uh, I was cuz I I was wanting to see what I was wanting to see what would happen, how fast they could how fast they would bring everything back up and if it was going to be shut right. down for good. Like it, it was just a big questionable thing. So I I, I was up till about 3 a.m. Hanging out in Discord and Teamspeak and stuff, just bouncing around. Um, there's nobody in Teamspeak. Like the only people that were in Teamspeak were like um, either OGs or um, staff members that were still there, uh, and they're just hanging out mm-hmm. in random channels. Like because nobody nobody could play. The servers were down, so nobody got on. There's I think throughout the night there's maybe ten people on. Wow, just hanging out. The forms are still down for yeah. maintenance now. Yep. Yeah, that's they. Yeah, that's website's been sold week. out. Been Before it said "fuck you, Ryan," but now it's down for maintenance. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> so they must have got something back on it. Yeah, I think. I think what they did is they, um, they got new IPs on everything. 
um, they went through, they went to their provider and got new IPs and new servers and everything. And then that's probably what, I think that's what took them so long is because they're uploading everything to all new IPs and so they couldn't get hacked again. And I think that's what they're doing with, with the website now is that they're changing over the website and all that to the, to the new website server. So. Right, right. Yeah, that's that's that, I guess. <laughs> and uh, new videos keep coming out um, under the YouTube name RAP Olympus, but they're actually, they're kind of funny, to be honest. They, they, they really expose are. a lot. Of, they expose a lot of things. <clears throat> and at this, at the same time, I kind of, I mean, you, you kind of gets what I don't know it, it, if anything is coming. To Olympus, that's going to shut it down. I mean, he he put his own he puts his own self in this predicament. True. I mean, he kind of gets it in a sense, right? I mean, because it, it was ran for years with multiple different owners, perfectly fine. And then mm -hmm. when you bring a biased person into it, and then it suddenly gets shut down within a month. I mean, I don't think that's a server problem. I think that's an owner problem. <laughs> Well, yeah, as an owner, you can't afford to be biased. If your bias is owner, nothing will work. Yep. You know, you you were there last night for a meeting. How we kind of ran stuff, and you kind of see how I give yeah. everyone a chance to speak, and not just the a few. For sure, and you can't do that as an owner because you want go nowhere. Yep. I mean, just like I started doing stuff on on the trailer park, and you let me have free run. Like, all right, well, if you want, here's an idea that. Do whatever you want with it, and then when you're when you get to a far enough place, to give a proposal to the higher ups, and if they yep. if they approve it, then go for it. I'm like okay, and that's what we did. Um, me and the other contributor, uh, we brainstormed for a day and figured out what we wanted to do, and then we the next day we started creating the database and everything for it, and then uh, it got approved, and so I finished up the database today. And it's re like I'm I'm ready to be launched. Like I'm I'm good. I'm I'm done. I'm ready to go. So I'm just waiting on yeah, waiting sure. on Kurt to, or wait. I keep saying Kurt. Keep I'm waiting on Carl to <laughs> sign off on it, and then the management to sign off on it. And it's ready to post. I'm gonna at everyone twelve times, <laughs> just to, just to piss everybody off. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna spam ads at everyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go through the whole server. And I'm gonna at every single person. Individually oh with the links. <laughs> uh, uh, toss me a link to the yeah. Discord. Yeah, we will. <coughs> but but uh, yeah, hundred percent. Just like uh, Dennis was saying, you know, and you you and in a sense, um, he's running. If you're owner of Olympus, you're running a business. I mean, yeah, you're no longer. Yeah, we said that a while back. Just now it's running a, a server. Yeah. You're running a brand. You're running a business. You're putting this out there for hundreds of people. Thousands, maybe actually. even thousands yeah. of people. Well, yeah, like any, any, any community is like a business. Whereas an owner, it's a business because you have bills, you have income, you have staff. Even if you don't or do pay them, it's a business. And all it takes is one person to make everyone look bad. And when you have a exactly. majority of them or just the owner in general, then it's not going to work. That business will fail because mm -hmm. the public will see that. And when the public sees it, they ain't going to want to play there. Absolutely. Yeah. And now, it, it, if Bohemia don't shut down Olympus, I think that's what will kill Olympus. Is the, like, the for always, example, the only way Olympus will die is if Bohemia, is, is if Bohemia shuts it down. Because they'll lose, they'll yes, lose their have, merchant policy, and where they can't, they, they can no longer do tiers for donations. So if they lose that, um, and they lose their battle, income. yeah, yeah, they'll lose their battle eye. So the only way you can actually get donations if by the good of people's hearts is the only way you can yep. get a donation. Um, like put it this way: today the server, both servers are up one and two, and my community on a weekday had more than both servers. Wow. I had I had eighty and they only had sixty five. So well, normally Olympus is full. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, this is this is brought up a few days ago that somebody was saying that um, Olympus is dropping players by the hundreds. Um, he was looking at the the past player base and all that, and we started out at like thirty three thousand players, and then it 
like a month ago, it dropped down to like 22,000 players. And then um, a few days after that, it dropped down to 6,000 players or six, 16,000 players. And after doing the math on it and everything, we're dropping three to 400 players a day. Wow. Um, that's a lot. I mean, I don't, I don't blame them, though. Who, yeah. who wants to be a part of a community that's like that? I mean, well, yeah, you might have I been do. selling money. You, I, I don't know. There's just so much shit that has just been exposed in the last few weeks. It's just, it's a lot of it can be due to what's happening in Olympus, but a lot of it can be just because Armo's dying in general too. That, that is true. Yeah, but not, if you have a combination really. of both, I mean, well, Armo is slowing down. Three three months ago, Ar- uh, three months ago, Olympus is going strong, full servers. Yeah, given it was mm-hmm. the summertime, so it's our peak time anyway. But even still, yeah. it, it was full all the time. And then we got this new owner that made all these new decisions and biased decisions, and then it started dropping. So that doesn't help I either. I, yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's an actual Arma's dying thing because people that play I mean, there's no other Arma. Yeah, so, I, and and they're not coming out with an Arma four for it comes out next week. While. What? No, it doesn't. Yeah, Krubel, you on crack? You on crack? Four comes out next week. No. Yeah. It's right around 12 units of time. <laughs> he, as he, he's Googling it to see if it comes up. Mm-mm. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't keep up with this shit. <laughs> no, the Arma 4 is the equivalent to 12 units of time, which is the um, international never signal. Yeah, and and I mean, the, it's just like GTA. They're still rolling out DLCs for that game. They're still rolling out DLCs for Arma Three. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's and, yeah, yeah. I I will agree. It has slowed down a lot, but but it, it's, it's, wise, nowhere, think, it's nowhere near dying for sure. Yeah, it, I, I think community wise, the the new owner has killed it. I mean. It, it, yeah, and that's then, what's slowly killing off the community. And then on top of, uh, on top of like all the stuff that's happening with Olympus right now, being shut down mm-hmm. and and everything deleted and down for a couple of days, they even if they bring Olympus back, they, it's going to be a long, hard recovery for Olympus to come back. It, it they're going to have to make all the right decisions and at all the right times for for it to come back full force like it was. Um, I don't think it will. Not with the same owner. And absolutely I don't, not. I don't either, to be honest. Unless he starts changing his ways. Um, I don't think he will. And then also, the after all this happening, Olympus will still be here, but it definitely will not be the same as it was a month ago. Yeah, hundred so. percent. And they were just starting to roll out a lot of new cool stuff for a lot of new. Features that were really making the server better, and yeah, and I think this I think a lot of the server, a lot of like the OG people started leaving because they started noticing changes on the map that wasn't the people weren't a fan of. Everything was getting really clustered to the middle of the map. Oh, yeah, I do agree. Yeah, and like the, it, there's nothing southwest anymore. No point in no point in going over there. That's where Coke used to be, or Coke Field used to, or Coke Pro used to be. Nothing over there anymore. Mm-hmm. Drug dealers yep. more drug dealers more east than Neo now. Yeah. So there's nothing west, southwest. The the only thing mm-hmm. the only thing out west is uh, weed processing. It's all the there. Do they move platinum all that? Yeah, nothing's there. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, what? platinum platinum's still there, but it's not. Oh, okay. I mean, nobody does. But nobody. Really. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, for sure. So and then so they moved everything to the middle. Like Coke is OP right now because Coke Field and Coke Pro are right there together, and then a drug dealer is like a thousand meters away or something like that, two thousand meters away. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I haven't played. Yeah, so Coke's I haven't OP. Played Olympus. Uh, Frog I haven't got, played Olympus week. Yeah, they they you know? moved they moved heroin heroin processing like way out in the middle of nowhere, so nobody does heroin anymore just because it's an annoying ass drive. Um, yeah. So the only thing that people are still doing are meth, moonshine, mushroom, and uh, frogs. Mainly mm-hmm. frogs. 
the and I jumped on this morning. It was just me and another cop. We were on for I don't know two two hours. There was only thirty people on, and nobody nobody was doing anything. The only people were getting the were just random people like there, there's a couple people who were like robbing gas stations or just randomly shooting we're going after them for no reason really pretty much just because there's no i mean nobody was doing runs right right so yeah i mean and and it's just it's not appealing to play the server anymore to me it's not yeah. i mean granted i do have you know I, full time yeah, you know, I, I still do work full I still time. I don't have all the time to go and sit down and play like I used I, to. When I, I played was in to high play school. it, but I mean, there's nothing like it's it's not fun anymore. Like it's not fun. Yeah, it's not yeah, fun. You anymore. can't. Yeah, you can't have the same fun that you could have a year ago. It's exactly. it's not the same. Hundred percent. And then 100%. so yeah, so now that that's changed and dropped a lot of people's interest, and now with this this um. Olympus has fallen or takeover or whatever you want to call it, that um it's not gonna be the same again. It's uh I mean it's just the community is dying. It's self imploding really. But I'm yeah. just like I, I still play the server. I'm just gonna continue to play the server. But I mean This may be off topic. What did they ever have gang wars? Nope. Never did. <laughs> That's they funny. have they have everything set up in um in the team speak all the all the gang stuff is set up and I'm sure they have server three set up in the in the data files and all that for gang wars. But no, never happened. <laughs> but, um, we'll see. I guess but that's pretty much all the time we have for this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm Scribble. I'm here with Intent and Charlie or Dennis, whatever, whatever he wants to go by. The, he he owns Trailer Park. The, on the Trailer Park, he goes by Dennis. On Olympus, he goes by Charlie. I've known him as Charlie for years, so I can't call him Dennis. It's just weird. So He's just a man of many names. <laughs> yeah, a man of many <laughs> names. I can take that one. Uh, but... Uh, Go ahead and check out Trailer Park. Like I said, it's a Wasteland server. Just go into your filters, type in Trailer Park. It's only one server. You'll find it. Uh, a lot of fun stuff to do on there. It's pretty much a KOS everywhere. Uh, they have they have very light, minimal rules on, on KOS zones or zones that aren't KOS. Like, I think they just added something today or today or last night that you can't camp a FOB now, which is a spawn point. So you can't camp that anymore. Um, but other than that, it's a free-for-all Wasteland. You know, you see them, you shoot them. Uh, again, they have black wasps and tanks and the Tigris tanks, and they and we're actually implementing something today or tomorrow. Um, it's a big, big thing going into that server. That's the stuff I've been working on the last couple of days. Uh, so be sure to go check them out, and be sure to go check out our sponsor at glacbd.com. If you use the promotional code Scribble. You'll get 40% off your purchase. Again, that is uh, glacbd.com.